All right, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, I'm a little sick today, so yeah, bear with me. And uh, sorry for the delay on videos. I could come up with a billion excuses, like, well, more reasons, but excuses, like school and Skyrim Special Edition. But uh, yeah, I won't, um, even though I kind of just did and said I won't. So yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the episode. Uh, we're going to today um, skip over the fact that... Uh, that last FPS episode about the whole turret went down pretty badly, I have to admit. I would like to follow up on that and fix some stuff but, and get a working turret. And you can see it is also no longer in the uh, map. Um, but what is in the map still is our AI. Um, and I think I placed him back in there because I wanted him back in there. But we're going to uh, be killing our AI today and possibly, uh, I may just do this as a separate episode, having our AI kill us. So uh, let's kill the AI, shall we? So um, um, I would like to make the AI a bit better, but he does walk around. He does uh, obviously, um, that's some weird animation stuff. He does walk around and he will look at us once we... Um, okay. He he does look at us, but apparently he, d he doesn't like to. But right now, if we, I mean, we can shoot at him all we want. He doesn't die. And, uh, he, um, I don't know. He's not looking at us. Maybe we didn't set that up. Maybe that's just in my test project. But he, uh, he can't even kill us as of right now. But I, uh, like I said, I want to kill him. Because why not? So go to wherever you put your AI. I put mine in the miscellaneous folder, and he's right here, and I called him new AI. So um, I just want to look real quick. Did I not tell it to be able to look? No, nope, I totally did. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll look into that why he's not recognize, uh, why he's not recognizing us. That is curious um, of why that's happening. Anyways, um. So yeah, uh, what we're going to do today is uh, it just uh, create a quick um, collision, a custom collision um, uh, field. And I think that's just if you go to, as, as you saw, uh, settings, project settings, and then a collision, you'll have this. Now, uh, we already have presets built into UE4. And if you don't know what the object channels or trace channels are, those are actually pretty easy to find out what they are. You can just go to something, pretty much, excuse me, pretty much anything uh, in Unreal Engine uh, component-wise that's physical, has collision, even the cameras uh, have a, a, a level of collision. You can't edit there. Actually, no, you can edit. They do have a small bit of collision, but uh, you can collide with them. Um, anyways, so uh, if I go to the um, capsule f for component, capsule component, which is what we're going to be hitting to kill him, um, if you go to the capsule component, uh, and by the way, this is going to be much more fluid than the last collision. I just thought I'd clear this up. If you checked the last series, the collision and the killing of him was very inconsistent. This is going to be 100% consistent. Um, anyways, so if you go to the collision, you have all of these settings. You can't They're canceled out, because, or you can't edit them, and they're kind of grayed out because they're in a preset. But if you go to custom, it will keep the settings from the preset that you had, but it will allow you to change them and modify them accordingly. If you want to just have a preset for everything, you can make presets. I don't believe there's a limit on presets like there is trace channels and object channels. But if you want to know what trace channels and object channels are, well, really, we're only going to be using object channels. Trace responses um, are probably best defined if you just let Unreal Engine define them. Um, but anyways... Uh, we're just going to make an object channel for uh, just one of them right now called uh, Bullet. And uh, the default response should be Overlap for that. Anyways, we'll go to the AI. If we actually control S and then we compile and then we go back to the component, Bullet will pop up and it will be automatically on Overlap. Now, if we go to uh, blueprint and we go to where bullet the bullet is, and we go to uh, the static mesh, scroll down, go to its uh, collision preset. Uh, sorry for the sniffling. Once again, a little on the sick side. 
go to custom, uh, you'll see bullets there on uh, its overlap. We actually want to ignore because we don't want bullets colliding with bullets. We could have a bullet colliding system, which would be really actually quite cool. Um, just a tiny, tiny little uh, feature in your game that just makes it much more realistic. Because honestly, in real life, if bullets do collide with, it, with each other, they... I, I'm sure they could stop Dead Center. I'm sure Mythbusters have done something on that. They like to do stuff with guns and bullets. So maybe you could Google that and tell me in the comments how uh, bullets react with each other when they get hit. I'm sure they just ricochet off and keep going in a tra trajectory, uh, um, trajectory, I guess, you know. Anyways, whatever. Back to this. Uh, so this is what we're going to have. We also want to um, make sure... We, you can close all the project settings, by the way. You, you want to make sure what the capsule component is considered as and its object type, so it's considered as a pawn. So I'm going to want to overlap. Actually, really, I'm just going to overlap everything because it doesn't really matter except for bullets. And the object type for this will be a bullet because, obviously, it's a bullet. Um, anyways, um, so now that that's good and done... I would like to um, go here, and that's that's overlapping. This should be overlapping bullet, but we don't need to mess with that. So I think if we just go scroll down to on begin overlap and cast a bullet off of the other actor, and then off of this we will um, actually we need to make a health system for the AI um, so we're going to get current health and make that a variable or float sorry obviously it's a variable compile that and we'll have a death system here we're just gonna set his health to 100 um, and as bullet we don't need to do anything with this yet actually let's just do destroy actor make sure that is connected to as bullet and once again we are doing this on the AI side of things not on the bullet side of things um, uh, and then let's drag out here and set health that will auto correct the current health and then minus float minus float current health minus 25 so that every time the bullet hits it's gonna take out 25 of the, out of the 100 health so obviously in four hits he should die so I'm gonna take one of these leftover ticks that I have over for some reason I don't know why I have so many extra ticks actually I think I do and I think it's because this is yeah this is duplicated from the from our player and our players has a bunch of ticks anyways we're gonna get a tick if you don't already have one, if you don't have this many ticks and you've got an empty one, just add pin and you should be good. I'm just going to get a tick and I'm going to get branch. And we're going to get, um, let's see, lesser than, equal to, um, float, lesser than, uh, or equal to float. So you should get something that looks like this right um, make sure it's this because otherwise it won't work I've had people who do the other one who do um, this one the uh, arrow pointing to the right but you actually need the arrow pointing to the left in the equal one so you need that um, anyways so we, we're what we're going to do is if it is if current health is uh, lesser than or equal to zero we're going to a um, set a variable true to is, uh, set a variable called is dead to true and obviously I just made that variable the bool um, uh, we're going to set that to true so that way if we need to play around with any death mechanics we can um, so he is dead um, and and we'll have we could have like a revive mechanic or something um I don't know, but if if it's if that is no longer the case, and if it is, I mean, the only way for this to be false is it for it to be more than zero. So if he's all of a sudden revived somehow, 
then he is not dead, and you know we can play around with the, that mechanic should you uh, so desire. Um, so it obviously we're just going to have a destroy actor, but later we could have a um, a later I would like to implement an animation where he dies, stays there, and uh, doesn't slide across the floor or move weird like some Skyrim glitches or more notably, like, <laughs> ironically, an RPG AI glitch that I had in, well, the, R the previous RPG series, not the, not the revamped one. So, destroy actor, I um, don't want to type it out, so I'm just going to see if I can find it real quick. Here it is, destroy actor, self, and we should be good. So, I think that is just about it for killing our AI. Um, something like that? No? Oh, yes. Here would be the issue. Um, what we need to do um, is this doesn't seem to want to actually collide properly since it's just a mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a capsule collision and set that there. And that should still look right. If I undo it, yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still look good. Okay. And in that capsule collision, we're going to customize the settings so we're going to ignore bullets and physics bodies will overlap with and we are a bullet that should be good uh, and I just for debug reasons if we do happen to hit um, no yes sorry if we do happen to hit um, I want to print string saying hello because we don't have anything else printing string except for except for no ammo so we'll see a hello if it flies by wow that's zooming in much more than I remember it um, so that doesn't seem to be properly overlapping oh I just saw a hello Yep, there we go. I uh, my aim was just off terribly. Yeah, let 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 me uh, delete the nav mesh here, and um, actually I'm not. I don't I don't want to delete it. I just want to move it up because it's it's fine the way it is. Oh wow, I scaled that up much more than I thought I did. Okay, there we go. Um, that, I mean, it's fine the way it is, I just don't want to, uh, well, he's still rotating stuff, no, he is broken for sure, but if we get, let's reload ammo, so that way we get all those bugs gone, oh, that's why, I hadn't reloaded, my, my aim wasn't off, I just wasn't reloaded, I just want, I just want to wait for all of those to go away, do I have to pick up the other weapon? I think I do. Okay, so obviously this will work with both guns. So, hello. Well, at least it should. Is the uh, bullet spray that gnarly? Because I know, I don't think we've, no, we do have bullet spray on this one. Oh, that's funny his look angle is the same as ours. I don't remember that being a thing. But whatever. Okay. Then why is he not hitting with this? That's strange. It's literally just not hitting. I didn't think my bullet spray was was that insane? Let me look at how bad it is. Um, I'm just going to go back to the event graph. Wow, we have a lot of stuff in our gun. <laughs> um, I forget all this. Uh, I'm just going to break this and make the... And eh, the bolts. We'll keep that fine. We'll, we'll, we won't mess with that. I just don't want it to increase. So that way we should keep a nice steady... Huh. That seems to disappear. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, so hello? Hello? Hello. So apparently I hit him four times there. So, okay. So it just seems to be that my bullet spray, bullet spread, is so increasingly uh, gnarly, if you will, um, that it just doesn't want to um, hit. Hello? Now see, that should be hitting. Hello? Hello. Okay, so maybe it is just the bull spread. But I mean, obviously, we can kill our car we can kill the guy now. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to re reconnect this. Wow. Hate it when it does that and does that a lot. Um Uh so yeah. Um I don't know. It just may be an issue with that and I'll I'll get that sorted, I suppose. <laughs> Because that is a lot of bullet spread. Um, not recoil. Huh. Can't seem to find it. Am I that bloody blind? Oh, yeah. I am blind. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. How about we do point five and point five save that up and uh, see how that wants to that's another glitch there how the reloading mechanics work so how about that I just think we've got some gnarly recoil. That just seems to be the issue. And my TV really is glitching out. So maybe the recoil, uh, or not the, the bullet spread, bullet spray uh, sh could be refined much better. Um, and I think that is definitely the issue. Um, because on each tick, it increases it by a lot. So, I don't know. I, could, uh, I can get that sorted out on uh, some... I guess free time. Should I have any? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's 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 that I suppose. And let's see how this is now. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, sorry for the sickness and sorry for kind of the slow going episode. Um, but yeah, I uh, I hope that this works out for you. If you got any issues. Uh, put it in the comment section. I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. I do uh, have a lot of comments I need to answer and go over, but uh, it is what it is, I suppose. And we killed him again. So, anyways, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, issues down in the comment section. If you uh, want to see like something specific for the next episode, um, I guess you could include that. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, because, you know, I always like ideas. I think the next episode I do want to have him kill us. But anyways, we'll see. Um, maybe fix up, fix the AI, because there does see seem to be some issues. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.